Hello booktube, I have finally gotten around to reading Temeraire, I think I'm saying that right, Temeraire, that's how I'm going to say it for the rest of this video, the first two novels in that series, His Majesty's Dragon, which is obviously the American title, and the second, Throne of Jade. I really enjoyed these. They were a recommendation from Claire, whose video I will link somewhere through here that you can click on if you're interested in hearing more and a little bit more of an in-detailed description of the novel. And she's read a lot more of them in this series than I have. I loved this. I really liked the difference in perspective between novels one and two. In novel one, it is set in England during the war with France, during the era of Napoleon, and it's sort of battle-based in that it's not just land and sea like it was at the time, but there's an aerial corps, and the aerial corps is handlers, who have been sort of imprinted on by a dragon. So that dragon will only accept typically that person or people from that person's family and they serve in the military. And part of these dragons only accept female riders, which is very revolutionary for the time and kept hush hush between the other um, d branches of the military. And I loved the contrast. I loved the contrast in the way that the dragons were treated, the way they were raised, the way they were used, the dragons, how they viewed society. Um, the first novel taking place in London versus the second novel which takes place in on the open sea and also in China. And it's sort of this shift in perspective. Lawrence is the main human character who I was okay with. I found him a little bit stiff and stuffy at times, but it wasn't really him as much as the time period in which he's written. And for that time period, I think he was appropriate. I think that he is our mirror for Temeraire. So he is the reflection of times. And then our outside perspective is that of the dragon who is outside of these sort of social norms being a different species, but also very, very intelligent. These dragons aren't um, beasts, they're more intelligent beings, and they shine a light sometimes on the prejudice and just horrible things that were going on at the time. And it's really interesting hearing Lawrence react to those things and hearing his perspective, seeing his perspective sort of change and the gauge by which he's viewing things as fair or normal changes when he goes from England and everything that he's always known to China and the way that he was told things absolutely have to be may or may not turn out to be that way and it's these revelations and his sort of revolutionary dragon talk that I really enjoyed. I think these novels were well written, well written. It's relatively fast paced and the characters, almost ex all of them, are extremely likable. There is a moment in the first book, His Majesty's Dragon, that left me extremely angry. <laughs> and any pet or animal person um, tends, I think, to feel that way. And I'm not going to mention what it is because it is a spoiler, but these dragons bond very strongly to their human and they're also very possessive. You know, they do have sort of the still hoarding things sort of angle. Um, but I loved the societal ramifications and the things that were period based that are accurate but annoy me now, you know, living a few hundred years later that were considered normal back then. I recommend reading these books consecutively so that you can get that compare and contrast angle. And I am planning on reading the rest of the books in the series because I did love the first two so much. I actually loved the first one so much I immediately started reading the second. And I really enjoyed that too, but I'm also distracted by all the shiny bits. So I'm <laughs> reading other things at the moment. I am going to revisit the series and continue. And I'm really interested now that we do have an alternative perspective to what's considered normal in England, how this is going to affect our characters and the way things are. I'm so excited. Um, if you have other dragon-based book recommendations, please leave a comment down below. We all know that I have a special weakness for all things dragon. I hope you enjoyed this and that you pick up this book. <laughs> I will see you again soon. Bye.